Hello YouTube, this is Ellsworth Tutorials with another video. I'm going to help you out with another problem today. Have you ever tried transcoding a video and it'll take a very long time? So I'm going to try showing you how to transcode a video all really fast using a graphics card that supports CUDA. And um, as you can see right here, I'm running Riva Tuner so that way I can monitor the core temperature and uh, overclock it a little bit and I have the fan maxed out. So here we go. First thing I'm going to show you an example of a DVD ripper that takes a long time. Um, these will run at like uh, 6, 7 frames per second so it can take up to 6 hours to encode one video on one core. I'm going to use a DVD called Black Sheep which is a pretty funny movie. I'm going to transcode at 720p. And, um, see, this can take like eight hours to do, and no one wants to wait eight hours for a movie to encode. So, okay, that's just a quick, exa quick example of um, an encoder, but now I'm going to show you this. It's called Bada Boom. Um, it uses CUDA to encode, so if depending on your graphic card, you can encode way faster. With my 9800 GT, I can uh, encode at up to. Um, about 35, 40 frames per second. Okay, now the first problem is, is this will not um, let you encode encrypted DVDs. See, that's what it says. Could not find valid video data in input file. So I'm going to exit out of it. And I'm going to put a link to this program called DVD43. Basically, when you click on it, the yellow, the smiley face will be yellow, which means it's um, detecting the DVDs. Then it'll do it'll turn green which means the DVD is decrypted so that way there's no security on it okay there we go so now I'm gonna start bada boom up again I'm still running a demo so I gotta buy it soon it's only thirty dollars so it's a steal now I'm gonna open up the DVD and there we go it's working then you have all these options right here. iPhone, Blackberry Bold, iPod Touch, Apple TV, and you can read, so I'll just let you read that. Um, then you can click Advanced Options, and uh, pick your graphic card. So, I'm running that right there. Um, then you can uh, select your rate. Now, as, as you can see right there, it shows you your file, f file size, which is 995 megs at uh, 1480 kilobytes. So... You can increase the size quite a bit, but this right here is pretty is actually a pretty good uh, bit rate. Um, picture settings, I'm running mine at uh, 720p and fill to aspect because this is a widescreen DVD, so this will keep the aspect ratio right. Then you can choose your audio channels that's supported by the CD, so I'm doing five channels. And then back to basic and press start. Okay, uh, my card will max out at about 40 frames per second, which means it'll only take like 45 minutes to transcode this whole video, so this works really good. Um, I'll show you my final copy. Well, actually, I can't because I don't record that high of a frame rate, but um, it works pretty good. So I'll just, I can show you my final copy, but I'll just pause it so you can kind of see what the quality looks like at uh, 1500 kilobit rate. If you don't buy it, it has that little logo right there. So. See, that's the um, video quality. It's pretty good. Um, you can't see what it really looks like though because uh, my input rate for the screen recorder isn't that high, but yeah, that's how you do it. Um, I suggest you get Riva Tuner so that way you can um, overclock your card and get a few more frames per second out of it. I also have my fan maxed out and my temperatures at about 50 degrees Celsius. So yeah, um, please subscribe, leave a comment, and check out my website. Thank you.